Hello, hello, and welcome to my channel. My name is Kat. I am the Nurse Flipper. I went to Renninger's Antique Fair over the weekend. I went on Saturday and I did not want to film. I wanted to hang out with my friends. So what I'm going to do is show you what I bought. I spent $800. It's not going to look like a ton of stuff, but I think I got some good stuff. So I'm going to show you it all right now. All right, so here is kind of a condensed version and I'm gonna open and let you see, but $800 sitting on this table, you know, not not much. But the biggest was $75 for this bag of silver and $200 for that one. So I'm gonna get this stuff out and show you it individually, exactly what I got for $800 at Renninger's Antique Fair. All right, so I've got the light on so you can see a little more. These Mola, which I absolutely love, these are kind of an embroidery only done by the Kuna people in Panama and Colombia. So they had $5 each on these. I offered 20 for all. They actually came back with 25 for all. So I got them for under $3 each and some of these are worth upwards of $50 a piece. So this is a really cool bird. And then this one I believe is a man and they do cut these out and then you can see those really, really tiny fabric pieces there. And then another bird. This one kind of looks like a vulture to me. I would think this one is a vulture and maybe this is a snake down here. And then this, I believe, is an elephant. And if you're interested in any of these, just email me, the nurse flipper at yahoo.com. This one looks like maybe a little quail or something like that. Check out the bat. So the bat does have staining, but this is still a super, super cool piece. I like the one with the bat. And then here's a bigger bird. You can see a lot more colors in these. Typically, the more colors and the more details in these, the more expensive they sell for. We've got another birdie. And a lot of these from my research were actually used in women's clothing. And then when they get tired of wearing them, look at all those stitches. When they get tired of wearing them, they cut them out and they sell them to tourists. So pretty cool. Here is a fish really really neat and you can see some fading and so from what I read that is one way to know that they are actual true molas because they do show some fading and wear which means they were actually used here's another super super cute bat and then this little bird and my favorite and probably the one worth the most money is this one here so this is a devil dancing you've got a kangaroo here you've also got a dinosaur this piece i will probably list at 75 or 100 dollars and then last on the mola is this little birdie here again a little bit of staining but so many stitches and so much work it takes them actually a couple of weeks to make these so a lot of time went into it and then we'll move on to the jewelry so this piece here is a beautiful enameled piece this is kind of a tribal style necklace this one does have a signature there it is eve lynn so really, really neat. And all of this jewelry, with the exception of the sterling, will be available tonight on Whatnot at 8.30 p.m. Next, beautiful, beautiful art glass bolo tie. Really pretty dichroic glass piece there. And then these are little acrylic earrings that are absolutely great. All of these will be starting at five dollars on whatnot tonight i also got this little brass and copper kitty cat really cool artisan piece so this says thank you for supporting hackley public library so this is a from a sale to support the library and the lady who i bought it from actually bought all of the remaining to help support them and then i got this great pair of nimpir earrings beautiful iridescent on those stones. 
I got these Harvest Moon. Look at the little cute, cute candy corns on these. Really great pair of earrings there. And then this is another from that library sale. This is a copper enamel brooch. Really, really pretty one there. And then look at these cute little hand-painted wood fish. Now these, I did pay a dollar for all of these is what she was asking. I also got this scrimshaw carving. This one is pretty cool. This is a beautiful Talavera box. So you can see the man in the sombrero sitting. It says eight, but I got it for half off at four. It is redware. Absolutely gorgeous painting on this. And you can see it is signed Cozumel, Mexico. So this one, I will probably start at $5 over on Whatnot as well. I'm not sure if it'll still be available tonight. I might have run it before tonight. And then I also got this gorgeous cloisonne apple trinket box. If you see the thin gold wire there, that is what makes this a cloisonne piece. And they do typically have enamel inside. This one actually has a very pretty purple enamel. So again, this one I will be running on whatnot as well. Now, I did not know, but do you see this amazing, amazing pottery bowl? And I did share on Instagram and some people commented, and I don't think a lot of us knew, but check this out. This is Ken Edwards. So if you see the KE there, Ken Edwards actually just passed away last year. This is Mexico. So he normally does Tanala with birds and plants, but this is an amazing drip glaze. So I got this bowl. I don't know if I'm going to sell this. I'll probably keep it. I love Ken Edwards and this is really rare. So I'm going to use this as another bowl for free bowl on my whatnot shows. If you watch them and I'll show you the current one there. The current one is in that gorgeous Lewis and Mighty Key Bowl. That one is for sale on my eBay store. Beautiful lotus flowers there in blue. So what we do is if bids go to $10, you get a free item out of that bowl. And if they go to $20, you get two free items. So now we will have two bowls there. And this is my whatnot area if you've not seen me on whatnot so you normally don't see all of this but there's the free bowl all of these jewelry pieces and envelopes over here on the right actually sold last night so those will be shipped out today next is this gorgeous Mexican dancers. This one is signed by the artist. The artist is Bosch and this is enamel on copper, which is one of my favorite things. This one will also get ran on whatnot. Now these I got, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them. I paid about $13 a piece. These are amazingly detailed carvings. This one I believe looks like it is Jesus. Beautiful, beautiful stone carving. So I bought all she had, got them for 13 each. So these will be on whatnot tonight, starting at a $20 starting bid. Beautiful bears. This is this is my favorite one. Look at the back of this one. Beautiful, beautiful feathers carved into that amazing amazing piece i also i know the dolphins are not my favorite i'm sorry to disappoint the dolphins are not but this is a beautiful carving as well i just love the feathers on the back of that other one and then here's some more bears again i did pay close to 15 a piece for these you can see they're pretty decent size on my hand and the artwork on these is absolutely stunning here is another this is a bear with her cubs gorgeous and this one also has the beautiful feather and flower on the back these are probably pretty valuable i got a great price on them and i absolutely love them this next one is kind of a hunting dog one with them sitting there probably a bird dog would be my guess there is the back of this one. And then the last of the carved stones is this one here of Jesus. Very, very 3D if you see it there from the side. This is in a beautiful piece of Jasper. And I do believe this is a married piece. So the Jesus carving is put on top of a piece of Jasper. And then I also got this beautiful petite point purple violets. 
This one has some wear, but I would expect to see that with age. This is still an absolutely beautiful piece. This one will be on tonight with a $5 start as well. And then this gorgeous gold tone starfish is actually a branded Monet, if you see there. So great, great classic piece. And then this is a really neat dichroic glass swirl. It's kind of neat how they have it in the middle and that is bubbled up. So this one I paid four. I'll just start it at five on whatnot. Next, and again, these are going to be on whatnot tonight. Beautiful blingy cherry brooch. I actually got some brooches from the same lady in uh, November when I went and she had some great pieces. And then I got this little seahorse. Really, really pretty blingy seahorse. There's the back of him. He's just on a silver chain. Super, super pretty. This UFO, very, very blingy again. UFO or planet with a ring around it. Look at that iridescence on the back of that brooch. Super, super cool there. And then I did get two of these celestial moon and stars. There are two of them that are pretty much the same. Those are very, very nice. And then I got this big old butterfly as well. We are going to have a ton of butterflies and dragonflies tonight on whatnot as well. Both pendants, brooches, um, some, I think some bracelets and earrings as well. So come join us tonight on whatnot at 8.30 and then I also got, this is for me, <laughs> Florida Gators bracelet. Super cute. This one I paid three for, or maybe like, they were three for ten. So three thirty-three, but really, really cool Gators bracelet. All right, now I'm going to show you some Betsy Johnson pieces. Or they're marked Betsy Johnson. So I showed these to George. I was talking to him, and he said somebody told him that his might be fake, and his have the same tag that mine have. So I paid about $8 for these. They are missing a couple stones, but I will um, be starting these at 10 They are absolutely gorgeous. I got this mermaid. And then I got this fishy. The fish is missing two rhinestones. They're still an absolutely gorgeous piece. So this is the tag that's on them. So we're unsure if they are authentic or not, but still definitely worth at least that $10 mark. Really, really pretty articulating seahorse with a crown here. Again, this one does have the tag as well. And look at the cute little turtle. Lisa Beachwalker, are you watching? Look at the turtle. It's so cute. So all these Betsy Johnson uh, will be starting at a $10 starting price, which is right at what I paid for them. And then I've got this gorgeous octopus with the faux pearls. Really, really pretty piece there. I did buy all of them. That's how I got them closer to the $10 mark. I think she was wanting... Uh, $15 a piece for them. Beautiful blue octopus with faux pearls. And then last on the Betsy Johnson before we get into the sterling bags. This is a beautiful green tailed mermaid here. And they do have the hearts in the Betsy Johnson tag but again unsure 100% on authenticity. So let's take a look at what's in my two sterling bags. Oh first I gotta show you something. I gotta show you this. This is an absolutely gorgeous pulled feather vase. Um, if you're not familiar, Lundberg does a lot of vases like this. I sold one actually a little smaller than this for $450. I picked this up for from George the Antique Nomad. The bottom is signed there if you see. And this is really cool. So this is actually an Australian artist. And his name is Sean O'Donoghue. Looks like this one should sell for about 100 to 150 But I am going to put it on Whatnot tonight. This is going to be on Whatnot tonight with a $50 starting bid. Absolutely gorgeous with the original paperwork pulled feather iridescent base. I absolutely love these. They are one of my favorite types of glass. All right, let's take a look at the silver. 
So this bag I paid $75 for. I did write it so I knew what I paid. And um, this I paid $1.40 a gram. The other bag I'm going to show you I paid $2 a gram. So check this out. This is actually a vintage tax coat otter. It's one of the little jingle bells and these can sell for 75 to 100 this one will probably have already sold on whatnot by the time you're watching this video because i believe this video will go out thursday this is going to sell on wednesday and then also this gorgeous amber flower pen beautiful vintage piece of amber there and then also this amber, not amber, <laughs> this lucite with the cute little sunflower vintage sterling silver bracelet. Look at this owl. Isn't he cute? Super cute owl with abalone center. And all of this I dug through like giant bins to find this. There were hundreds of pieces. This is a really cool 3D sand dollar all of this is sterling and then this one here says you are my sunshine which i absolutely love might i might keep this one for adult possibly and then next beautiful abalone inlaid into sterling flower brooch look at the sea turtle i love sea turtles if you don't know this is a diamond cut sterling sea turtle and then also this last kind of pinwheel flower so all these pieces you just saw i paid 75 for so i'm close to about eight dollars into each this one does have a bale for a pendant now i'm going to show you the big bag that i paid 230 dollars for of sterling silver i paid two dollars a gram on this that i'm getting ready to show you All right, so I paid $2.30 for all of this. I figured it out. I think I'm about $11 per piece in. So I'm going to show you now. This is a beautiful vintage Cloisonne wrap ring. And then this is, look at the sea turtle. This is a little, the ball opens. And this one is signed there it says it's a harmony ball you can see super cool turtle on both sides of this ball and then i got another sterling silver and marcasite turtle and all of this is sterling amazing artisan inlaid amber pendant beautiful solid sterling back on that one this is an older piece look at how gorgeous this garnet and sterling crosses and it's a pretty good size this is a beautiful beautiful piece also got this amazing giraffe super super cool sterling silver giraffe pendant i got a murano millefiori italian wrapped in sterling this is a glass pendant also this inlaid ring is really really different not really seen anything like that this is a great great piece here you know i gotta always always get a dolphin this is a mama and a baby dolphin pendant and then i've got this a beautiful sterling and abalone inlay butterfly brooch this one I looked up. So this artist actually sells pretty well. So this one says Hoffman Sterling. You can see there. And these go for about $50 to $75 on eBay. This is kind of really, really cool there. I'm saving the best for last. Maybe somebody's eyeballed it down there. Another really pretty diamond cut cross pendant. Another vintage ring. This one looks to be a ruby and marcasite. Absolutely stunning. And again, these will have just sold yesterday on whatnot. This one is a beautiful enamel ring. This one actually has a name inside of it as well. This one says Norway, if you can see there. Norway Sterling. 
So it's sterling and enamel inlay from Norway. And then we got this tiny little hummingbird, super cute little hummingbird. Look, a pot leaf. So I had a pot leaf before and it sold well, so I got some more. And you know I cannot leave behind this amazing Cocapelli Dancer. This one is actually signed as well. I think it might be 12 karat gold filled on the gold. It's sterling and 12 karat gold filled. Yes, sterling and 12 karat gold filled on that one. And then this, I feel like, is for, like, holy water. You can see the cross, and it's like a little bottle, and it does open up here. So, if it's for something else, let me know. Um, but I was thinking, like, for a dash of holy water to carry around was my thought. And then look at this simulated sapphire. This is an older ring as well. The setting is a little off-center on the one side, but this is an older ring. Absolutely gorgeous. My fingers are dirty from going through all this jewelry. And here is this amazing tennis bracelet. Beautiful, beautiful piece there. And then I did get, look, it's Pluto in a bag. This is signed Disney Sterling. And it is a little Pluto charm or pendant. And then I got this amazing vintage brooch here with marcasite. Really, really nice. That might actually be jade there in the middle. This is a great piece. And then second to last is this little Mickey charm. And last was the, oh, wait, one more before the last. One more. This really cool arrowhead charm, which it says South Dakota. Super cool for a charm bracelet, little arrowhead. And the best find of the day, except for maybe the Mola. The Mola might have outranked this. This is a gorgeous sterling silver Tiffany & Co. New York very long bracelet. So this one also I'll be putting up on whatnot. I will weigh it to make sure I get what I paid for it because I, I, by weight I probably paid at least 50 for this. But <clears throat> super, super valuable piece and it was thrown on the table where you could dig through it and pay by weight. How amazing is that? So again, my really cool Mola, some of the other stuff. I appreciate you guys watching my little haul. I will see you guys tonight on Whatnot at 8.30. You will be able to get some of these amazing Betsy Johnson and the carved pieces tonight, Thursday night at 8.30. And I will see you guys then. Thanks for watching.